there, beautiful travelers. I'm so happy that you are here with me in the Philippines on already my fourth journey in this amazing country, but I've never been to the Visayas before. We're going to start here in Sikior and then we make it all the way up to Panay Island. I've heard some great stories about the places we are going to visit, so I definitely hope that you will be staying with me and I hope I won't disappoint you. Are you ready? Let's explore! This little hidden gem right at the bottom of the Visayas is Sikihor, one of the smallest provinces in the country. It's long been famous for its healers, witchcraft and mystery, but lately another rumor got out about waterfalls, great diving and beautiful forest walks. A little heaven for explorers like you and me. And the one proper way to experience this island is on two wheels. That's the old enchanted Baliti tree. The old enchanted Baliti, Baliti tree. tree. We have another name for the English, we call that Banyan. Banyan. Banyan tree, but in Tagalog we call that Baliti. And what is, what is like it's, it's pretty old, right? Yeah, this is the oldest here. There's more than 400 years, just imagine that. The white spirit lives uh -huh. here. What does the white spirit do? Well, just the, there, you know, just watching us, you know, they don't touch you unless they don't hurt them, you know. Once they hurt them, you know, they hurt you back. That's right. Also, a natural spring originates from under the tree. It goes to even 24 feet deep. In the pool, you can let the fish nibble your feet. Just take a moment to relax. takes us over 130 steps down. A relatively small effort though, if you see what you're getting back. Gambugahai Falls is one of the highlights of this island. No dazzling heights or big drops. Here the water and rocks just dance together, creating crystal blue lakes. There are multiple stages and you can get a fresh dip here wherever you want. You cannot really visit Sikihor without a stopover at this beach. And if your heart can handle it, go for a dazzling dive. I've been asking people why is this place called the Witch Island or why is it so mysterious and I've actually heard multiple stories. Some people said it's because of the traditional healers that live in the mountains. Others said it is made up by people from other islands because they didn't know Secure, they didn't know the people and if you don't know someone you're going to make up stories and then it becomes mysterious one man he said that if you don't like someone and you want to get him out of your way you come to secure you can get someone here to kill him for you with poison and they still do that today 
It's just very expensive. I found that a little bit of a scary story. <laughs> so I hope that I've been a good and friendly tourist, which I always try to be. And if you get here, be good. I warned you. <laughs> no, honestly, it is an amazing place with beautiful people, good food, stunning nature. It has everything. And it's also relaxed. Thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave your comments down below. I always love to read them. Um, subscribe, all of that. And I'm going to bed now. Off for new adventures tomorrow. Sleep well. Doop.